Hi guys, today I have a review on some new Maybelline products. This is their Master Fix by Face Studio. I have the spray as well as the setting loose powder. So first up, the spray is a wear boosting setting spray. It's supposed to lock in your makeup and make it long lasting finish. It's oil free, translucent. On the back it says that it's lightweight, translucent mist, extends the wear and keeps just applied makeup fresh, helps prevent making uh, makeup melting and color fading. It's supposed to shake well and then you're supposed to spray it all over your face about 8 to 10 inches away. The spray nozzle on here is really, really nice. I like the fact that it's a really uh, fine mist. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see that. But it's very, very fine, a really nice mist so you don't feel like any big droplets are on your face like someone's spitting on you or anything like that. So I really like the fact that it's a very fine mist um, so to me this is very comparable to the L'Oreal one I feel like it does a really nice job of setting especially for a drugstore one this probably uh, I'm can't remember how much it runs around. It probably runs around like $7 to $10. So I think it's really nice. And it comes with 3.4 fluid ounces. So you have a nice amount of product in here as well. As far as the smell of this, it's the only thing that kind of turned me away from this a little bit. It has a pretty strong alcohol kind of smell on it. It's not, it's something that I've kind of gotten used to, but the very first time um, I used it, I kind of really noticed it. Now when I spray it, I don't notice it as much just because I've gotten used to the smell. But I did notice that, I think it's the, yeah, it's the second ingredient on here is alcohol. So that is something to watch out for. Alcohol is something good because it helps um, kind of set your makeup and keep it in place, but at the same time there's people who might have reactions to having you know to spraying alcohol on their face like on the daily you know what I mean so that is basically my two cents on this I do feel like it is a good buy and it's something that I don't regret or will be returning because I really do like it and I feel like it does prolong my makeup it does do a really nice job of setting it between this one and the L'Oreal one I kind of have a toss-up I think that you can go either which way just to kind of compare the L'Oreal one to this one, um, this bottle is a little bit more cuter because it has the pink, but other than that, the ingredients are almost identical on the back, so I feel like you're basically buying the same thing, it's just which brand you prefer. Um, so, and you get the same amount of fluid, ounces, and everything, so um, you could go either which way with both of these, so it's basically the same exact thing. Next up is the Master Fix Setting Perfecting Loose Powder. It's supposed to set, mattify, blur, and smooth. On the back it says it's a micro fine translucent powder. It creates a soft focus effect as it sets your makeup. It smooths and mattifies. It's an undetectable finish. And you're supposed to just swirl your brush into it and then just kind of dust it all over your face. I do have it as a setting powder today and I really feel like this really does blur out your imperfection. It just kind of gives you that really nice finish to your face and I really like the fact that it mattifies as well. I will go ahead and say that I did do a picture with this with flash photography and if you use quite a bit of this you will get that white cast on your face with flash photography. But I do feel like it, it's kind of like the Makeup Forever HD powder where it's really good for everyday wear to kind of just use a translucent powder all over your face and then just kind of avoid it when you're going to, you know you're going to be able to take flash photography or any kind of photography. Just avoid using it because you don't want that whole what I call the cocaine effect on your face where it looks like you just have dusted cocaine everywhere so um, that is something to watch out for I do like the fact that it has a nice sifter and it doesn't have a, a big sifter where it's all over the place it just has a few up here on the top so I really like the fact that the packaging is really nice um, so I really like that about that. So it, it's more of a controlled amount of product on that you can put out. Another thing is that I really like how sleek it is. That being said, it does only come with 0.21 ounces. So it is um, something that's a little bit steep for the drugstore because of the fact that I think this was only like like probably like ten dollars and that's all it comes with so it doesn't really come with a lot compared to like um for ten dollars i get my cody airspun that comes with 2.3 ounces so you can definitely see the difference right here and this is 10 times better than this and it doesn't give a flashback in photography so but it does have a really strong um like flowery smell so but as far as the master fix it doesn't have 
any smell whatsoever. It's really nice. I just um, would use caution as far as the flash photography. But I do feel like it does blur, it does mattify, and it does extend the wear of my makeup as well. So overall, I really like these products. I think they're a really good buy, especially for the drugstore. And I really like the fact that the drugstore feel is like stepping up their game. Um, back in the day, like you couldn't find any of these kind of dupes for high-end products and I feel like now they're starting to come out with really nice dupes so if you're looking to try these I would definitely say it's a go especially if you have like combo oily skin and you need a good setting spray or a setting powder um, obviously I'm gonna recommend my airspun over this one but if you are more into like translucent really fine powders then this one would be a go as well so let me know what you guys think have you picked these up are you thinking of picking them up I'd love to hear back from you guys Thank you guys as always for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed down below. I love you guys to death and until next time, bye guys.